Groundkeeper has launched their new Euphoria collection, and you can guess, the patterns are literally euphoric. The company is known for delivering collections that fulfill our wildest dreams, and once again, they're back with a bang. So hold on tight as we take you on this euphoric ride to give all the details on this collection. First off, let's take a look at the Euphoria collection. Groundkeeper has made a name for itself by bringing us cool artworks for our bikes. Although there are several options for you to customize your own designs through their websites, the company has released various top-notch collections from time to time. Euphoria is their latest collection, and by taking a look at the insane graphic, we're already predicting it to be one of their most popular ones. After all, these purple cosmic patterns have been trending for quite a while, so it's likely that people are going to be crazy about it. Don't believe us? Go and check it out yourself. The collection has been described as an intoxicating blend of bold purple and glistening gold, and the graphic patterns do look dreamy and enchanting. In fact, the euphoric vibes really make it irresistible. Now, let's talk about the brand itself. If you're curious about how the founder came up with the idea for Groundkeeper, we've got you covered. Keely Shannon, the founder, believes that if you dream it, they can print it. When she first decided to start the company that would create these graphic-driven fenders for the mountain bikes, she first needed to find someone who would manufacture the fenders for her. Well, after a tiresome research to find the right partner to produce high-standard fenders for her brand, she decided to do it herself in the end. Yes, it was tricky for her in the start, as it took over eight months for the production of the prototype. But the actual outcome, when she printed her custom designs on a sustainable material like recycled polyethylene, was all worth it. Based in Bellingham, the company was first launched in 2017. Now, they offer around 20 different designs that are available at the local bike shops as well as their website. It includes a Galbraith Mountain Trail Map fender that will benefit the Whatcom Mountain Bike Coalition. Besides this, there are other fun designers with names like Just Beat It, Staycation, Cat Rip, Donut Kill My Vibe, among many others. We don't know about you, but these names alone are making us go on a shopping spree. If we take a look at the prices, they charge $24 for the stock designs and $38 for full custom designs. And now, the company keeps growing. But this isn't really surprising, as Keeley had a lot of experience in the biking industry already. She previously led the Specialized Bikes Women's Marketing Team in California. But she left the corporate industry to become a freelancer, and you can tell she found immediate success in it. Moving on, here's what's included in the Euphoria collection. As we've mentioned, the company initially produced graphics for fenders. So, let's start with that. Just by taking a look at the presentation, you can tell that the material, the whole pattern and shape, as well as the printed artwork, everything has been well thought about this product. Fenders are actually the shizzle. You can easily customize them online, and they're really easy to install. And the best thing is they save your face from all the mud on that epic ride. What's even more amazing is this collection provides you with amazing graphics to ride in style. Let's put graphics aside for a minute and talk about the product itself. Groundkeeper's fenders have received rave reviews from the bikers. In fact, they've been described to have the right width and length. This is great considering the fact that sometimes companies produce fenders that are small and other times a bit overkill but Groundkeeper has the perfect fit for you. Another review pointed out how lightweight they were and still durable and strong. Besides this, installing these fenders is also pretty easy. In fact, it just takes a few minutes. All you need to do is fasten the underside of the fork with the included zip ties. And for tightening the zip ties, there are four contact points. You can also use Velcro straps to fasten it. Finally, they also have frame protection, top caps, and decals. First, Let's talk about frame protection. The ones featured in the Euphoria collection come in an entire kit. This is another amazing product as it not only protects you from the harm, but also gives a flashing vibe to your mountain bike. The kit has been designed to fit all the bikes of different sizes. It has six easy to trim pieces for down tube, top tube, seat stays, and chain stays. Even though it's been designed for the XL frames, you can easily trim it to the desired sizes. And it's also pretty easy to apply. There's no need for water. You only need a hair dryer or a heat gun. Remember to follow the instructions on the hang tag and your you're ready to go. And when you have to remove the frame keeper, always remember to use heat as it'll soften the glue to ensure a clean removal. Besides this, the collection also has top caps with enchanting patterns. Well, over the past few years, the company has only lived by the philosophy of creating personalized top caps, fenders, and frame protections. Now they're about to bring a major change with this collection with the introduction of decals as well. You can check the bold purple decal designs in the collection, but if you want to switch to a personalized pattern, there's always the option for a custom decal builder on their website. All you need to do is upload the artwork or images directly to the custom builder and use the extensive catalog of the preloaded fonts, images, and vector patterns to create what you desire. Let's talk about other exciting news related to the incredible world of mountain biking. Firstly, special events are being conducted to prepare mountain bikers for Olympics. A first-of-its-kind event was held on the Sunshine Coast, Australia, in the anticipation of the 2032 Olympic Games to be held in the country. From children to senior citizens, and from amateur to pros, everyone was encouraged to participate in the event. Actually, 
Olympic, this was planned to acknowledge the Brisbane 2032 Olympic and Paralympic Games when the best riders from around the globe will battle for the gold on Sunshine Coast. The biking event will include all the trails, sessions and demos to give a chance to the riders to rub shoulders with the world champions. No doubt this is a wonderful initiative because who knows, maybe the next great Olympic or Paralympic athlete may be in the crowd. And this isn't the only planned event. The mayor has ensured that Sunshine Coast will continue to host such events from time to time for the next decade till the official 2032 Games. In fact, they plan on turning it into a major community fair that'll have bike industry displays, bike shops, as well as demonstration displays. Next up, we've updates on the 2022 UCI Mountain Bike Eliminator World Cup. The event kicked off in Abu Dhabi with Tichuan Parangane and Marcella Lima taking home the victories. This series will consist of 11 races with their start in Europe and going all the way to Asia and Turkey. So far, Simon Gegenheimer and Gaia Tormina are in the lead after the completion of the three rounds of the World Cup. In the first round of the women's final in Abu Dhabi, Marcella Lima outsprinted Didi De Vries to have a major victory. As for the men's final, Perrin Gagné won the race again. He's actually been a world champion four times. Talk about consistency. Next up was the Eliminator Riders race, which kicked off in Leuven, Belgium, where Tormina and Gegenheimer have been leading the way despite the damp track. For the men's race, the crowd went bonkers when Belgians Zinni Van Louis and Lucas Malazuski finished in the top three. The competition will have three rounds. So far, Gaia Tormina stands atop the women's ranking with over 225 points, which is also far more than runner-up Fromberger and Lima with 127 points. But it looks like the men's race is going to be super tight as Simon Gegenheimer has 162 points so far, with Perrin Gagné being in second place with 144 points. Finally, a mountain biker returns with a major win after 16 years. We're talking about Xavier Arnold, who's a Frenchman currently residing in Coralstown. Recently, he found out that he still has the same competitive spirit as he did in his teens. He had represented France as a teen, but had to give up on his passion in his late teens due to personal reasons. Now, this 34-year-old man was completely delighted after he won the e-bike category at the Ireland series during the first round. Now, he's focusing on the second round, which is going to be held in the second week of July. Looking at his competitiveness, you might say that the 16-year hiatus hasn't affected his passion at all, and we love to see it. That's a wrap for the video. What do you think of Groundkeeper's Euphoria collection? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more amazing and exciting videos like this. See you in the next one.